is Christina from Me to Find Creative, and I am here with the next episode of Cultivating Creativity. And this week we are taking on Hannah's challenge, which was to either take or use a photo from a different perspective than what we usually do. And as soon as I saw this challenge, I knew that I had the perfect photo that I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, wanting to scrapbook with it. So I am going to use a bunch of the pattern paper from the Free Spirit Paper Pad. And so that's where a majority of these are coming from. And I'm going to use that darkish gray black color as my background. And then I am just cutting a bunch of different size strips out of all of these other pattern papers. There are a few in here from the Moonstruck collection, like that turquoise one. Um, but the majority of these, like I said, all came from that Free Spirit collection. And so I am just going to be creating kind of a ton of different layers with these different pattern papers. And creating like an L design on the background of this page. So you're going to see me kind of go through and just start randomly stacking these different pattern papers together. And I'm going to create a border over there on the left. And then I'm also going to create one along the bottom of the layout. And so I'm going to get all of those kind of set where I want them to go and then glued together. And so this photo is a picture of my son, my littlest son and my feet. And so this is a little bit different perspective picture for me, something, something kind of different. But it was a really important part of his story that I wanted to be able to tell. And so I'll read you the journaling here in a little bit. But basically, I'm going to have this L-shaped layout with this huge 8-inch doily from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. And then I'm also pulling in um, some of my cards and pattern paper from Wild Whisper Designs Adventure Collection. So that's where that black with the kind of wood grain um, little piece came from. And then also that journaling card that says run wild until you find someone just as wild to run with. And I have that on there because I do have some considerable amount of journaling that I want to put with this photo. Um, and so I've pulled out some other embellishments and little things and I'm going to go ahead and glue all of these strips together. And then I'm going to take some white gesso and just kind of brush it <coughs> on the page around where those pattern paper strips are going to go. So I have to apologize for the coughing. I am still super sick. So as if you have noticed or if you watch this, my channel a lot, I have been pretty absent lately um, because I have been really, really sick. So this is the first day that I actually felt like, hey, I might be able to actually get through a video without coughing everyone's ear off the entire time. Um, so I'm spreading that white gesso and I am going to go back and put a piece of cardstock behind that pattern paper just so that it doesn't buckle as much. It was buckling just a little bit more than I wanted it to. Um, and that white gesso is just going to kind of add some detail around my pattern paper strips. And then I'm going to layer up my photo and my journaling card and just a few little pieces of ephemera here in the center on top of that doily. And then I have grabbed these letter stickers from the Navy blue ones are from an old hip kit, and then the mustard yellowed colored ones are an older October afternoon. And so my title is just going to be These Little Feet. And then you saw that I fussy cut some of those hearts um, from the Moonstruck collection, and that was just a pattern paper. I cut out um, hearts in a few different colors. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull out some of the puffy stickers. I did pull out that one ampersand up at the top, and that was also from the Wild Whisper Designs Adventure Collection. And so now I'm just kind of layering all of these little embellishments together, trying to decide where I want everything to go. And so I have a few different collections of them that I am rummaging around. I am going to put some of these triangles up here to point towards my title, or my secondary title, I guess. So it says, this is the card where it says, run wild until you find someone just as wild to run with. And then I wanted to read you my journaling while I'm adding some little finishing touches here. It says, Ty Ty, you are an adventurer, just like your mama. You love to explore new places and try new things, but you are always found right by your mama's side. These little feet are always right next to mine, ready for whatever amazing new adventure awaits. We both have the wanderlust gene, and I can't wait for more exploring and adventuring with you. I love you so very much. And then a little hand-drawn heart, and then it just says mama. So I was trying this new kind of different perspective of the photo and then also writing a letter to my son as the journaling. And I kind of um, like how that kind of changed the perspective of the layout and got me to tell him a, an important story um, as part of his story. 
And so then I went back and added some Tim Holtz uh, chit chat phrases down at the bottom that just say, I'm happiest when I'm with you. It's always the small pieces that make the big picture and adventure is worthwhile. And that's going to do it for this layout. So I really hope you will play along with us this week and create a layout from a perspective that you do not usually um, create from or take photos from a different perspective. And be sure to uh, watch all the other videos from Sarah, Megan, Felicia, and Hannah and share your work with us as well. Bye.